Hey folks, this is Richard from MinMax Games, and today we're going to be taking a look at an early build of Golftopia. So before you start playing, you're given an opportunity to customize your landmass a little bit, so I'm just going to smooth things out and make it a little bit easier on myself for the demo. And that looks pretty good. So the first thing you're going to want to do is place down a clubhouse. This is where your golfers will start and end their visit. Looks like a decent spot right, right there. So the next thing we're going to want to do is get a course going. So we need to place a T. See our manager down there looking for something to do. So we'll place a T pretty close to the clubhouse because golfers sure don't like having to walk any more than they have to. And we'll link it up to a hole here. So as you can see, there is a series of preview lines being drawn there. So one, two, and then three par for the final putt. This course looks a little bit boring, so we're going to paint some fairway to help shape it a little bit. And you can see that the preview line is changing. And this is driven from an average level of golf skills. So every golfer is persistent, and not everybody is going to golf exactly like this. But again, it's just an average. So I'm going to paint some sand traps here to make this course a little less boring. I'm going to make them jump a trap here. Looks pretty good. And that green is a little small. We're going to place some trees down first. Make it look a little nicer. Gives the golfers a bit of perceived challenge when they have to avoid the thicket. And that looks good. And we're going to carve out a little bit of a path here so that golfers can get from the clubhouse to the tee. We're gonna paint a path, and make them walk a little faster. There we go. And then let's open this up and take a look at what we got. So you can see the shuttle arriving, dropping off our first visitors. So visitors come in groups of two to four, and again, they're persistent, so they have a set of skills, they level up, and they keep these skills forever. So if they come back tomorrow and they leveled up, they will keep those level ups. Alright, so not a bad drive. So if I click on the ball here, you can see that there's a bit of a discrepancy between what he wanted to do and what actually happened. Again, this will be driven from their golf skills, so some golfers really suck. Like this guy here, and some of them are better than others, so he's going to have to try to get his ball out from behind this rock here. So depending on how you've built your course, you got to try to resist the urge to make your course a death trap like I've done here. So you can see that it, they're having a bit of a hard time getting through this area. And if I look at the topography here, that's pretty brutal. So I'm going to smooth this out. The idea is to not absolutely annoy your golfers to death, but to have courses that look challenging but still being possible. You can see that another set of visitors have arrived here. I forgot about that green, but it's small, so I'm probably going to complain about that. You can see that if I click on any of their complaints, I can see exactly where they were generated, so I'm going to expand the fairway a little bit here. Let's make that green a little bit bigger. There we go. Everybody likes a nice big green. Alright, well I've skipped ahead a little bit here and you can see that I've built a second hole and I've got quite a few dudes playing on my course now. And if I click on this, I can see that there's some problems. So they're complaining that it's too dark. And yeah, it's pretty dark, so we're going to remedy that by building some lights. So how the light mechanic works is golf balls glow in the dark, but they'll lose their charge after a while. So you need to place these around and as golf balls pass under them, they'll charge up. You don't need to place them absolutely everywhere. You want to just intermittently place them to charge the balls up. And you don't want to place any more than you have to because you do pay upkeep on all this stuff. So again, I make that green nice and big. And it looks like uh, these guys are waiting to play, so I'm going to give them a bench to chill out at. There you go sit on that nice bench. And it looks like the hole here is pretty far from the clubhouse, so I'm going to build a transport tube to help them get back quickly. These golfers, again, they don't want to walk any more than they absolutely have to. So we'll go across the water here. And back to the clubhouse. 
Yeah, so golfers will pay you every time they complete a hole based on how much fun they had. So you can see I'm getting eight bucks from these guys. Uh, not that great. But again, if I click on them or on the holes themselves, I can see a list of thoughts that are being generated. And if they're negative thoughts, I can see exactly where those problems occur. So the idea is you want to slowly nurture each course over time and push it to a state of Borg Lake perfection so you can make as much money as possible. So you can see golfers using the transport tubes to return to the clubhouse and go home. This is a small golf course with only two holes, so there's nothing left for them to do. But I hope to do a couple more of these episodes in the future and show you what a larger golf course will look like. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.